Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing an extreme kitchen deep clean. I'm gonna be wiping down the cabinets, cleaning out our fridge, cleaning out our pantry, scrubbing it down the stove top. So just making sure that our kitchen is ready to go for this school year. I start back to school in about two or three weeks and I just wanna make sure that it's ready to go for our lunches being packed every day and our quick weeknight dinners because sometimes during the week you get busy and you just don't have time to clean. So I wanna make sure everything is done before the school year starts. So I'm kind of going room by room and just making sure everything is good to go. So today is the kitchen. I hope you get lots of cleaning motivation and get your own kitchen cleaned with me and let's go ahead and tackle this. I hope y'all came needing some serious cleaning motivation today because this video is packed full of decluttering and organizing and just deep cleaning. I wanted to clean every nook and cranny of this kitchen before school started because we all know that this school year is going to be nuts. Trying to teach online and in the classroom is probably going to take up every last bit of my time. So I just want to make sure that my house is really clean so we have a good fresh start back to school. And it had been way too long since I took care of this kitchen. I had been keeping up with it surface wise but there were just lots of places that I had been neglecting so I was ready to get all of this taken care of. I wanted to start out by wiping down all of the cabinets and the appliances before moving on to the places like the pantry and the fridge. I also like to start up high and then move down lower just to keep dust from falling on everything below. But let me know down in the comments below what are some of the things that you tend to neglect in your kitchen. For me it would be the fridge, the pantry, and the spice cabinet because these are the most used spaces and it's just hard to keep up with it constantly. I think the last time I cleaned out my fridge was in March, which is incredibly embarrassing. But y'all are going to get to see me take care of that today. And when I do find the time to clean the fridge, I always enjoy it so much because I get everything wiped down with a Mrs. Meyers scented spray and it smells delicious. And then I get to take a trip to the grocery store to buy all new groceries and just restock. And I absolutely love having a clean and stocked fridge. And the same for my pantry. It just does not happen as often as I'd like. It's a one of my favorite things to do in the kitchen is to scrub out the sink with some soap and a sponge so I went ahead and took care of that and y'all know I don't have a detachable faucet so here I am using a cup to rinse out the sink the best I can and I had to make a note to myself because the next time I clean the kitchen I will not start with the sink because I ended up using this sink for several different things and I had to keep wiping it out. Every once in a while I like to throw a disposal tab down into the disposal just to get rid of all of the bacteria and to make the sink smell really good and I also have to constantly wipe down this mirror above the sink because every time we turn on the faucet water splashes up and so it's always got water splatters on it and I just don't like the look of that so I like to keep it wiped down and another thing that I like to do quite often is to wipe down our little Keurig because it's a mint color and you can see the coffee splatters really bad so I like to keep that wiped down on a daily basis but today I am going to do a little bit more of a deep clean with it. I If this is your first time to my channel today, I just wanted to say welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Lauren and I love to make videos about cleaning and decorating and organizing, all things homemaking. So if those are things that you're interested in, make sure to hit that little red subscribe button below and then click the bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I would love to have you as part of this family. How many times have I fallen for you? Every promise you never deliver. How many times all the words that you said had me mixing the sweet with the bitter? But I know what you say. I've been thinking about upgrading our coffee pot for a while now and I was thinking about getting an espresso machine just because I've heard a lot about them and I've heard that they're good. I'm not really sure which one to get so if you have one and you love it, let me know down in the comments below which one you have or which one I should get. I'm ready to take this one up to my classroom at the school and replace this one with just something that's a little bit nicer. And it's a bonus if it has a milk frother because I really want to start making lattes. Times did I call it a day, leaving 
We are coming up on one of my favorite times of the year, which is the fall and winter season. I love decorating for fall and Christmas, and I can't wait to start in on all of that. I've been shopping around at Hobby Lobby and Kirkland's, and I found some really cute things to add to my fall collection. So when I finish shopping for fall this year, I'm going to do a fall haul for y'all. That should be out in the next couple of weeks. I know it's kind of early, but as soon as school starts back, I'm in pumpkin mode full on. So if you're not quite ready, I understand, but I always like to get a little bit of a head start. When I lived at home with my parents, my mom would pull out a movie every year around this time called You've Got Mail with Meg Ryan as the main character. Comment down below if you know which movie I'm talking about. But this movie puts me in such a fall state of mind. She talks about all of the fall festivities and the smell of freshly sharpened pencils. And this time of year just brings a lot of excitement for me because it's time for new school supplies and there's cooler weather coming and the pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. So it's just the best. I would love to know what y'all look forward to most during the fall season. Share it down below so that we can all get excited for fall together. Before I started deep cleaning today, I threw a load of dishes in and those just got done running. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of those away. And my dishwasher was in desperate need of a clean, so I'm going to take one of those cascade pods and throw it in there on the heaviest water setting and let it do its thing. Now I'm moving on to all of my countertops and whenever I'm deep cleaning I like to go ahead and take everything off of the countertop so that I can get all of the crumbs that were stuck behind whatever was sitting there. And then I just take my Mrs. Meyers multi-surface spray and today I was using the basil scent. I've been loving that one, it smells so good. And I'm just going to wipe down everything really well and I also like to hit the wall above where there would normally be a backsplash but for us it's just a wall. And so I'm going to wipe that down really well and just make sure there's no food splatters. 
And I did want to mention, I was at Target the other day and I found the Mrs. Meyers fall scent. It's um, the acorn scent. And before, and I think it was in my last video or the one before that, I told y'all that I found a Mrs. Meyers scent and it had the word pecan in it. And I lied. <laughs> it's not pecan, it's acorn. So I think it's called acorn spice. It smells so good. And I actually found two sets. So in my 500 subscriber giveaway, I'm going to go ahead and throw a set in there for y'all. So stay tuned for the instructions on how to enter that drawing. Ever since I made this little spot with the basket and the spoons and the cookbooks and the candle, it's kind of become a catch-all. That's where we put all of our fresh veggies that don't go in the fridge and a little bit of everything lands there. I think my wedding ring is in there right now. <laughs> so that's kind of like a catch-all. So I just wanted to take everything out of there, spray it down and wipe it down really well and then wipe down underneath before putting everything back. While the inside of the dishwasher was getting clean, I went ahead and wiped down the outside and there's that little crack or crevice down at the bottom. And I noticed that it was collecting a lot of dust and dirt, so I went ahead and got in there with a paper towel and cleaned it out really well. And now we are moving on to my spice cupboard. And I actually cleaned out this spice cupboard back in March and I didn't film it, but I bought this handy dandy little shelf where it's leveled so you can see all of the spices and I absolutely love it so I'm just taking that out cleaning it off and then I'm gonna put everything back in and the way I like to organize it is put everything in the back that I don't use a whole lot and then put all of the things that I use a whole lot in the front which is common sense I guess <laughs> but I like to keep my garlic salt and pepper and everything that I use on an everyday basis right up front so I can just grab it when I need it the second shelf is all of my baking supplies and I'm gonna go through that real quick and make sure I don't have anything that's out of date and put that back in an organized manner and then the very top shelf is all of our medicines and vitamins and I just organize that to where all of Will's stuff is on the left side and all of my stuff is on the right side and that way when we go to grab something we know where it is. You come with me Time to let it go and be free Won't you come and breathe the open skies Come now, come listen to the melody Slow it down, put yourself at ease Okay, nothing fancy here, but it feels so much better to have all of that organized. And now I'm moving on to the fridge, and I always like to pull all of my sauces out and wipe them down really well and wipe the door down really well. And then as I'm putting the sauces back in, I just like to check the dates and make sure nothing is expired. And this time I found a bunch of stuff that was expired, so we are going to make a large trip to the dumpster after this fridge clean out. And we've also been eating out a lot lately because we've just been on the go. And so a lot of the food inside of the fridge, all of the leftovers and stuff are really old. So I'm going to end up tossing a lot of that too. Now I'm moving on to the main portion of the fridge and the last time I did this y'all saw me add a bunch of those little rose gold wire baskets and 
I had about four in here. I ended up taking all of them out except for two because I just found that they were getting in our way and then when we had leftovers to put in the fridge, there was nowhere to put them. So I'm down to two baskets and I'm using one for cheese and then one for fruits and veggies and that's working really well for us so far. But y'all don't click off right here. Keep watching because something really scary is about to happen and you don't want to miss it. When I pulled that shelf out and saw that, I freaked out. I don't know why, but I immediately thought of blood. But then I remembered on the 4th of July I had jello and I spilled it all over the fridge. I thought I had cleaned it all up, but you never know what you're going to find behind that lower drawer. There's always something creepy down there. So now, next time I'm going to brace myself before I pull that out. But anyways, we got it all cleaned up and no need to fret. It was just jello. Wish I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night When I look deep into your eyes Coming home, and I am on my way. When I'll be coming home. Last time I did a fridge clean out, my sisters made fun of me for how much cheese I had in here. Comment down below if you have a ton of cheese in your fridge. I don't know what it is, but I always feel like I don't have enough cheese, so I'll buy another bag, and then we end up having way too much cheese. And also cream cheese. I always like to have a ton of cream cheese on hand because cream cheese makes every recipe better. I wanted to tell y'all about these cute little soup cozies that my friend Pamela makes. Her YouTube channel is named Pamela's Adoring Crochet and she actually just got this pattern published in a national magazine and I think this thing is so cool because you can eat your soup in it or anything that's really hot and you can hold it with your hands and not get burnt. So I think that is such a genius idea. Y'all need to go give her a follow on her YouTube channel. It's called Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'm gonna leave it down in the description box below. But I like to use this little bowl as a decorative item in my pantry all year long to store my little clips. But then in the winter time, we pull them out and we eat our soup out of these. So we absolutely love them. Y'all definitely need to go check her out and subscribe to her channel. And if you do, let her know that I sent you. Pam uses yarn to make all kinds of really cool stuff. I've seen her wearing crocheted slippers, crocheted shirts, she makes doll clothes. I mean, you name it and she could probably make it from a ball of yarn. She's absolutely amazing and I believe she has an Etsy shop. So make sure to click that link below and go subscribe to her channel. She's so much fun to watch and sometimes she brings on special guests so you won't be disappointed. Make sure to go check her out. As you can see, now we're moving on to the pantry and this pantry needed a serious overhaul on this day. All of these baskets had stuff in them that weren't supposed to be there. These baskets used to have labels on them, but they've been falling off because I never went and bought those chalkboard labels that I said I was going to get. So that is on my to-do list. I've got to go do that very soon. 
I've had a bunch of people tell me where to get them. I just have been lazy and did not go get them. But anyways, Will didn't know where things went, so he would just throw things in there. So I'm going to go through each one of these baskets and put things where they go. And then hopefully today, later on, I can go get those chalkboard labels. But I have a basket for snacks, a basket for bread and noodles, a basket for canned goods. So I'm just going to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be and put things back in their spot. And then I'm going to pull everything out of the bottom of the pantry and vacuum up all of the crumbs because I haven't done that in a while either so we're gonna go ahead and just tackle this pantry and get it looking good as new All right, now that space is a lot more functional for us, and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the silverware drawer. This drawer never gets awful, but it always ends up with a bunch of odds and ends in there that don't really go there, just because it's convenient to throw it there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all of these extra straws and pencils and pens and doodads, and I'm gonna put my silverware back in and organize it how I like it, and then I'm gonna put everything else where it goes. Now that I've got everything in my kitchen organized how I like it, I'm just gonna quickly take my Dyson and vacuum up all of the crumbs off the floor. And then I'm gonna go in with my O-Cedar Spin Mop, some hot water and some Pine Sol. And I'm gonna scrub this floor really well because I had painted this table and I never mopped afterwards. So there's some paint flakes and there's some other things on the floor from that project. So I just wanna make sure this floor gets really clean. I've already told y'all how much I love this O Cedar Spin Mop, but I found a new reason to love it today because I had a lot of paint stuck on my floor and I just took the edge of this mop, that little plastic edge, and scraped it up and the paint came right up. So <laughs> double duty, I love this mop and I would highly recommend it if you're in the market to get a new one. It's the O Cedar Spin Mop and I think it's only like 29 bucks at Target. So if you don't have one, definitely get your hands on one. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you got tons of motivation to go and tackle your to-do list today, and I will see you all next week.